When using Lang's Reflex Reline Jig, the following materials and equipment will be needed. Lang's Reflex Reline Jig, Jet Denture Repair Powder, Jet Liquid, Liquid Foil Separator, Acrylic Primer, Lubricant, Dental Stone and Plaster, and the Aquapress. The Reflex Reline Jig is a simple solution for better control during the reline process. The three-post jig provides an accurate, reliable fit when mounting acrylic dentures on the model. Its technology ensures stability and accuracy when relining or repairing a denture. The Reflex Reline Jig is made specifically for use in Lang Dental's Aquapress to enhance your immediate in-office denture service and in-laboratory use. Upon receiving an impressed upper or lower denture for relining, trim the excess impression material around the perimeter of the denture to make for a cleaner process. For the entire process about to be explained, everything that touches the denture, teeth or impression material, needs to be stoned. Everything that touches the jig should be plaster. For easy cleanup, use lubricant on the jig prior to this process. Use dental stone to pour up the denture, as to create a model. Treat the denture the same as any impression, bringing the stone pour completely to every edge of the working denture. This will stabilize the denture to withstand the rigors of the reline process and bring accuracy to all the denture extensions. Leave the stone in the denture and let it set. Note, soak the model in water with the denture still in place only after the stone is completely set. This will enhance the density of the acrylic during curing. With a separate pour, create a stone patty on the bench top the size and relative shape of the denture's arch form. Note, prior to placement, remember to lubricate the teeth with Lang's liquid foil for easy removal later. And place the denture and model teeth down onto the stone patty, creating an index of the teeth. Let it set. Use plaster to mount the denture with poured model on the lower member of the jig. Place plaster into the hole of the lower member of the jig. Place the denture, model, and stone patty onto the plaster teeth up, model down, let it set. Mix more plaster. Add plaster to the top of the index all the way up through the hole in the upper member of the jig. Smooth out the plaster that's expressed through the hole in the upper member. Tighten the wing nuts all the way down, let it set. Open the jig by unfastening the wing nuts. Carefully remove the denture from the model and index. Grind out the impression material and some of the existing denture base material for better adhesion of the fresh material to the working denture. Clean the denture and coat the prepared surface of the denture with Lang's acrylic primer. Then, replace it teeth first into the jig. Carve a post dam on the working model to ensure firm palatal seal. Then, paint the working model with Lang's liquid foil and let it dry for one to two minutes. Mix Lang's Jet Denture Repair Acrylic. Per Jet Acrylic instructions on set time, place the mixed repair acrylic into the denture throughout the arch form. Then, place the upper member of the jig and refasten the wing nuts all the way down. Be certain that flash appears all the way around the denture as to cover all areas. After mixing Lang's Jet Denture Repair Acrylic, remember it has a set time of less than 10 minutes. Place the clamp jig into Lang's Aquapress. Fill and overfill the Aquapress with lukewarm water no hotter than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Tighten down the Aquapress to 25 PSI. Allow a minimum of 10 minutes in the press for full curing. Open the Aquapress, remove the jig, unfasten the wing nuts, and carefully remove the denture. 
trim and polish as normal.